Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get into this message, please hit that subscribe button. Please like this video. I would love for this message to get out. I want young girls to hear this. I want women, older women, whoever needs to hear this. I want them to hear this because y'all, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like I saw this last night when I was scrolling YouTube and someone else had made a video about it and I was just like oh my gosh because I don't listen to this type of music y'all I don't listen to Beyonce I don't listen to what she's got going on and so when I saw this I had to go look up the lyrics I didn't even want to listen to it I just wanted to read and I was like mind blown like and it made me very upset I was like okay we're gonna talk about this because this is such a lie this is so deceitful this is so like an attack on the church and it's ridiculous um here's some of the lyrics you guys it's it's named church girl so the lyric the song title is church girl and it says don't play me Ooh, I want to be a church girl. Ooh, I want to be a church girl. I've been up, I've been down, feel like I moved mountains, got friends that cried fountains. I'm warning everybody, as soon as I get in this party, I'm going to let go of this body. I'm going to love on me. Nobody can judge me but me. I was born free. I'll drop it like a thotty. Drop it like a thotty. I said, now pop it like a thotty. And it just keeps going on and on and on. Twirl that beep like you came up out the south like bad girl acting naughty church girl don't hurt nobody like first of all that is not a church girl that is not a true woman of god that is disgusting and to, for you to actually call the song church girl and portray yourself as a woman of god singing this ridiculousness it's horrible that is blasphemy. Like, that is ridiculous. And you know how many people are listening to this? How many people idolize her? And, like, young girls? Like, that's what really makes me upset is because this, these idols are twisting everything and making it seem like they're Christians or it's the Word of God. And it's the complete opposite. And especially these young girls... Growing up in this generation and hearing this and just being so deceived, led astray, led to hell, like, no, that is not, this is just basically trying to make people think, like, oh, it's okay to go to church and sin and live this life for the devil, and it's not okay, you guys, it's not okay at all, um, that's not a woman of God, a true woman of God is a Proverbs 31 woman, a woman that loves her husband, her family, fears God, like you will be judged, and it's going to be by God, and we should fear him. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, period. Cares for her home and children, helps needy, respected, strength, dignified, like all of those good things is a Proverbs 31 woman. Um, you know, Titus 2.3 I love this because Beyonce, you are 40 years old, girl. Like, what are you, like, this is so, like, just the devil just pulling strings and, like, trying to have this influence in music. And if y'all didn't know, Lucifer fell from heaven. When he was in heaven, he, like, orchestrated, he was the most beautiful angel, orchestrated music. Hello? Like, you have got to be careful what you're hearing, what you're putting in your brain. Like, what you hear, it goes to your heart. Like, be careful. Y'all, you're opening doors to demons. You're opening doors when you're watching stuff. Like, I wish I would have known this years ago. Like, I'm just now learning all this stuff. And we have been closing and slamming doors. And it's such a blessing. Um... So, Titus 2.3 is talking to the older women, and it says, Be reverent in behavior, not slanders, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that, the, that they admonish the young women to love their husband. My handwriting's really bad. I'm trying to read this. To love their children, to be discreet, chaste, homemakers, 
good, obedient to their own husbands, and the word of God may not be blasphemed. You guys, we are supposed to be discreet, and we're supposed to dress nice, and we're supposed to talk about heavenly things, and we're supposed, like, we're not supposed to condone, like, dropping it like it's hot, and dressing a certain way, and, like, y'all are so much, y'all are worth so much more than that. You're made in God's image. He loves you. He wants you to save yourself, and treat yourself with respect and dig dignity. I see so many ladies posting their boobs and their butts and all this and then the next day complaining that they can't find a good man and I'm just like stop showing the goods ladies stop acting this way stop acting promiscuous find a man that loves Jesus and you will be blessed like let's get our priorities and let's stop listen to this garbage that the world is shoving down your throat and these influencers these idols these famous people I'm getting more wicked by the day trying to tell you how to act and dress and think and you know what to wear and drop it like it's hot in the club and like come on seriously and this these younger girls are listening to this and watching you and thinking that's okay and you know if you if you get pregnant just go get it taken care of like what are we doing i don't ever want my girls to think that this is okay i don't ever want my girls to look up to these women i want them to look up to godly praying spiritual warfare jesus loving women and i hope that as they get older they can say that's what my mom was because that's who we need to be looking up to not all these people leading you to destruction, absolute destruction and heartache and a horrible life because they're not living by this. And in fact, it's such an anti-Christ Jezebel spirit. It's the complete opposite of this. And Revelation 2.20 warned us this, the church that allowed Jezebel, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prodigal to teach and seduce people to do immoral Wicked, nasty, like Jezebel was a nasty woman. And the spirit still lives today and it's trying to take over with sexual morality and everything else. And, you know, trying to make men not masculine, trying to make women the head, trying like complete chaos out of order. And that's what's happening. Everything's out of order. God has an order. And when we stay in that order, things run pretty smoothly. Satan wants to get everything out of order. Antichrist spirit wants to get everything out of order. And if y'all can't see that, I don't know what else to tell you. I just, I had to make this video because women need better role models. And if I have to make a video that gets five views, so be it. At least that's five people <laughs> that see this and know like, women, we need to do better. We need to do better. Come on. I was the same way. I was out in the club drinking, getting drunk, smoking, you know, like dr dressing with short shorts on. And I was there too. Like, I get it. Like, I believe I fed in that. I was listening to the same music. Oh, single ladies. All the single ladies. Like, <laughs> I mean, Beyonce's been around for a long time. I still remember Destiny's Child days. But Satan is getting more bold. And how he's coming out. And it's crazy to me that people... Like, there's literally music videos of people singing, Oh, Lucifer. Like, what? And y'all still... Like, I still see comments of people taking up for these people. Saying, oh, no, she's not demonic. Like, she's just saying that. Like, it's just... Ugh. Like, no, it's demonic. And it will open a door to demons. And I pray in Jesus' name and rebuke every single demon trying to come against you in the name of Jesus. Turn that garbage off. Slam that door shut. Music, movies, like, be careful, you guys. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. If, and with your kids, too. Like, really make sure that what they're watching is okay. Like, because some things can't be unseen. So I pray over you guys. I hope that you have ears to hear and eyes to see and that the Holy Spirit will start really working on you, that you'll be able to see these things and realize like, whoa, this is just not of God. And it's even more sicker 
that they portray themselves of God, that they act like they're Christians, like that they do all this stuff, but they're really serving the devil. And that is what we, we've got to call that stuff out, you guys. We've got to. We've got to quit supporting these people because they're not working for God. They're just not. You will know them by their fruits, and their fruit shows, and they show what, they, what they're about. It's like all occult and demonic, and it's for that fortune and fame. You think they got their money by not doing some weird stuff? Like, start paying attention, you guys. I love y'all. I pray for you. Be careful because the times are evil. And I pray for the Lord Jesus to protect your hearts and your minds and your souls. Give it all to Him, you guys. Repent. Turn away. Open up your Bibles. Start reading and studying. Ask for a relationship. Ask Jesus to come into your heart, into your life, to be the Lord over your life, to lead and guide you. Ask for the Holy Spirit. Be baptized. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day.